Yo guys, with Winter Wildcards official here, you guys can go ahead and check out U7 by up to 5% off using my code Dater at checkout. Put 23 coins down below for the brand new promo. Go ahead, get yourself some coins. Okay, we have the Winter Wildcards daily login. I'm going to go ahead and claim this. I know how I said yesterday I'm a day behind, um, so I'm going to be opening this one. I know most people are on content or everyone is on content except me, so um, excuse me for being a little behind, but I'm going to go open this 50k pack. We have a new team to look at as well for Winter Wildcards, which looks fantastic. We have a new SBC area. By you, we have the Musa objective. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's open this 81 plus 2 gold rare player spec, which is probably nothing. We're gonna skip that and then we are gonna continue off into the sunset um, while we wait to see what we do get. Guys, let me know what you guys think of team 2. If you guys are looking the are, are liking the look of team 2, the player I'm most excited about in that team 2 um, that I've seen is Adama Traore by Farman Adama. Um, St. Max looks sick, obviously, but Adama for me is just my guy. I love his card this year. His gold card is so good for me. Um, and it's gonna be Ederson that we do get from this pack i think it's 89 rated ederson which is sick um an 84 rice um jimenez gakpo not bad there as well only one duplicate which is fantastic and then it's not going to be untradeable or it is going to be untradeable i should say so that is that um let's go take a look at the objective musa i want to see what he um has to be done to get him so score eight okay so you can do that in rivals assist five you can do that in rivals minimum 80 shot you can do that in rivals so you can literally get this card um, by just playing the game now at the moment I'm not even gonna take a look at his um, stuff we'll take a look at his things on uh, flipping or foot GG because um, his skill moves his weak foot his positioning might be wrong so I don't even want to take a look at that right and then we have the Eric by SPC as well today which looks incredible now um, this is a throwback to like FIFA 18, FIFA 17, of course, if you guys were around back then. I used to play the game like crazy. This is when I really used to grind champs. We have Eric by 87 rated, 3 star, 3 star, medium high workers. Can only play center back, of course, which does make sense. Pace good. Passing's okay. Dribbling is all right. Good composure. Very, very good defensive stats. Physical stats are amazing as well. Defensive stats, in my opinion, right, even though I just said they're good, I think with a shadow... Shadow is what you should go for. Don't put anchor. It doesn't matter. Just put shadow. Boost the pace as much as possible. The defensive stats need to be boosted as well because they're relatively on the lower side compared to like high-end center backs in my opinion. So you do want to go for that. It's an 85 rated squad for him. He's coming in at around 68k, which is very, very easy, very doable to complete. And then we also have a winter uh, wild cards token. I believe this token number. Let me check. So this is going to be token number 18 for Tyranny. You have to play two matches into in this Winter Wild Cards Cup, which is just super easy to do. So all you have to do is play two matches to get him, and then that is that. So you can get that today. I believe there's four matches you can play in that tournament uh, for today. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. It's very easy to do. And then the other one that you have to complete... Uh, token number 19 is also here, which is going to be Winter Wild Cards Challenge for, for this man right here. 60 rated CDM to get a small gold players pack as well. So that is your token number 19, including the store one. Let's go take a look at this team number two, man. I'm excited. Did I just see center mid Karen Benzema? Okay, we have Florian Verts to start off with an 87 rated cam. He's only 60k at this moment in time. Honestly, looks decent. Looks decent. Not bad. Not bad usable one. Um, he looks a little bit different because he let his hair grow out, which is surprising, which I guess when after he had his ACL injury, he kind of let it grow out. But uh, that is an interesting one, man. Not bad, not great, kind of mid. Next up, we have Milinkovic Savage, who is six foot eight, six foot eight for Milinkovic Savage. He is ninety nine speed though, which is pretty cool, I guess, uh, for a keeper that's that 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 is that tall. Um, he, I don't know if he actually has ninety nine acceleration, ninety nine sprint speed. If he does, that is actually kind of crazy. But he has sixty three reactions, which they did not boost, which is very bad because for a silver goalkeeper that's basically the reactions he has for a silver goalkeeper so he's probably not going to be great in game if we're being completely honest um the next one we do have is going to be ahmed musa he can play right mid right wing left wing and striker wow this is another throwback man um to a couple fifas ago when he used to play for leicester that gold card was so op and he looks actually kind of fun four star skills three star weak foot and high medium work rates pace crazy Agility balance insane. Uh, dribbling stats maybe not the best. Shooting is not bad. Passing's decent. Good stamina. Good jumping. This is going to be a throwback, man. I like that one. I like that one because that's just a throwback to when um, he used to be OP. We have Brahim Diaz. Looks very similar to Florian Verts, but he does have five star weak foot this time um, up compared to Verts. Shooting maybe a little bit on the lower side. Good passing. Good dribbling. 53 strength. Pace is okay. That's an okay one. It's another Milan special card. Not the greatest. Not the worst. 
We have Vout Deghorst with 78 pace as a center back, but a very big defensive and physical boost and a very, very crazy position change, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit of a different one. And then, you know, he could, he, he's a fun one, man. Of course, he finally gets a special card after his heroics in the World Cup against Argentina. It's a very big boost for him, actually, like, everywhere. So that's actually a pretty cool one. I thought they were going to, like, downgrade something of his, but they didn't. So that's, I mean, that is honestly pretty cool. We have um, Andy Robertson with five-star skills at left back, a plus two on him a plus 10 on pace which is very very much needed and he's going to be one of the best left backs in the prem next to Cancelo I believe it is that's, that's really it that I can think of off the top of my head very good defensive stats very good well-rounded stats the only negative things about him maybe the strength and honestly his passing should be a little bit better his, his passing should be almost up to up to Trent's Next up, we have Jordan Amavi. He has been switched from left back to right back. He's been all over the shop in the last coming in the last couple of years. I remember when he was in league in, uh, but he has five star weak fit now. Very good, well rounded card. Very good defensive stats. Little low in defensive awareness. Good physical stats. Very nice. Very nice. This is an underrated one. That's a cool one. I like that one, man. Gets off it with a special card there. We have Joshua Kimmich with the with the Pedri celebration. He's ninety one rated. He's gotten a big pace boost as well. Plus ten on pace. Plus. 15 on dribbling. Oh, he has 99 dribbling. I just I just saw that. Okay. Um, he's 4 star, 4 star now. High medium work rates, which is a little bit weird for a DM, but as a center mid, box to box center mid, he's not bad, but still has very low strength. So I don't expect him to be super expensive. If I'm being completely honest, uh, we have Gabriel Jesus as a right wing, a plus three from his once to watch. And it's a nice upgrade, man, because the thing is, right, he's out for what, three months? Um, it's nice to give him a special card just because. He's not going to be having any performance-based ones coming anytime soon. He has 76 strength, which is the only downside to this card, really. But good jumping, good heading accuracy, good, like, overall, just, man, such a well-rounded good card. Um, and then you just have to put a hunter on him to make the pace, make him as fast as possible, make the shooting as good as possible. Just a very good, well-rounded card, man. I like that one a lot. And this is the big one. This is the big one. Where, where, how much is he? I need to know his price. Don't tell me it's not loading. He's 315,000 coins already, which is a good sign. He's gotten, right? I mean, his, his his World Cup card already had a boost. Interesting. Um, but from the gold card, right? 17 on shooting, 1 on pace, 7 passing, 3 dribbling, 3 physical. He's 4 star, 4 star. What is the other one? Isn't it like 4 star, 2 star? Oh, man. Oh, you know what, guys? The pace, the shooting, the passing's not great, actually. Good strength. The dribbling is kind of weird. The dribbling is so weird. That, those dribbling sets are so weird. But he is so, so, so good in game, guys. Like, I cannot stress enough how good this card is in game every single time I play with him this year. Um, every time I bring him on. We have Rafa Overrun with a plus four. Plus fours everywhere else. Four star weak foots. And just a disgusting card. I don't even want to let's take a look at that card. We have Alan St. Maximin has gotten a plus six. And he has five star skills. Four star weak foot. At least he's not five star. Five star. Still a little bit low on the finishing. Um... But a good card ever was. Wow. Wow. That's actually that's, that's a sick one. That's a sick one. As a winger, that is so good. We have Karen Benzema. I don't care about boats. And we have Karen Benzema as a center mid. He has gotten a plus 42 on defensive stats. Plus three, plus one on the shooting. Five star skills. Interesting. You know, even as a... Okay, maybe as a box to box, yes. As a cam, also yes. As a striker, maybe not. He's a little bit slow. Um, even with this meta. Maybe with the pass meta, he would have been a little bit usable with the lengthy meta. But man, you know, as a center mid, he could do a job. He could be a, he could be a good one. I mean, the links to him, right? Uh, we have Tony Kroos. We have Alvarde. We have Modric. We have uh, Militao, the special card. We have Mendy. There's so many cards. Carvajal. There's so, so many special cards you can link him to. And then we have Eric Valle, last but not least, who I said, you have to put a shadow on him. Boost the pace, boost the shooting, or boost the pace, boost the defensive stats, I should say. And just a well-rounded card with three star, three star, six foot one. With easy links, Ganduzi, you have the right back silver stars. You have the new Dimitri Payet. There's so, so many links from Marseille. Um, so that's going to be an easy one to uh, link. Not very difficult at all. But that is going to be it for team number two for the Winter Wildcards, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. And I'm out.